आश्रम जे धर्म अर्थ काम या त्याग करा जाए प्रथम सन्यास नहीं बहुत ही कर्म को फेरती ब्राह्मण क्षेत्रीय वैश्य सूर्य ब्रह्मचर्य गृहस्थ ब्राह्मणीजेंसिंग He is fit to become a sannyasi. Otherwise, one should not accept sannyas order. If one accepts sannyas at an immature stage, there is every possibility of his being attracted by women and lusty desires, and thus again becoming a so-called grossto or a victim of women. Such a person is most shameless, and he is called bantasi, or one who is that which. He has already vomited. He suddenly leads a condemned life. In our Krishna consciousness moment, it is a life. Therefore, that the sannyasi and brahmacha is kept strictly aloof from the association of women, so that there will be no chance of their falling down in pain and victims of lusty desires. Ah, 
so can they continue as gurus? How the disciples think that, oh, you need not accept any guru. They have already accepted what guru? A mantasi. <laughs> Sameless person, you see. What Prabhupada Maharaj is saying, in our Krishna constant movement, it is advised that for the sannyasis and the brahmacharis get strictly aloof from the association of women so that there will be no chance of their falling down again as victim of lusty desires. Then, but you disrespected, disregarded this instruction of your guru, then committed offense to guru bhagya, huh? violating the order of the guru. Do you understand? Nama Parat, isn't it? Yes, Nama Parat. They committed Nama Parat. So, if Guru commits Nama Parat, what, what condition, what lot will be the disciples? Huh? Oh, sinless. They are also sinless. <laughs> isn't it? Huh? If Guru is sinless, disciples will also sinless. Nasty persons, isn't it? It's clearly stated here. Still, these people <laughs> are going on, you see. That should be done. Strict permission. First, beg permission from Guru. Guru has said once in a month, you should indulge the poor husband and wife, indulge in sex life, sex and sexual activity in course, thinking Vishnu, chanting one lakh of na- names. Chant on that day one lakh of names. Eglokhyanam niyasidhino. Both husband and wife. Strict. Vishnu, thinking Vishnu. You understand? Then they should indulge. For procreate good progeny. The child should be Krishna conscious. Because the consciousness of both husband and wife are fixed in Krishna. And under the permission, the Guru. First beg permission from Guru. You understand? Then Guru say, Yes, you can indulge on that day for procreation. Then you can. Otherwise, no. Not whimsical. No. You understand? That is our Vedic way. Restricted sex life. Sonja Jumukya. One should not violate this thing. Mm, is not. Then if, if, the, if this violation will be there, the human society will not, no longer is human society, the animal society. Poshu Samaj is an animal society. Will you become an animal? You are an animal, your wife is an animal, then? Become human being! Don't become animal. Huh? You understand? Don't become animal. Strict prohibition. You understand? Yes. That's human life, cultured life, civilized life. This civilization, you understand? It's the human civilization. Iman of Subhuta is culture. You understand? Not uncultured, not animal civilization. My Guru Maharaj says the modern civilization is dog civilization, is not God civilization. Dog civilization, like dogs. You see, now the dogs have become mad for sex urge. They are becoming mad. In broad daylight, in the street, they are doing sex. So, if you do like that, well, this is dog civilization, it's not God civilization. Huh? In the Western world, it's going on. It's God civilization, a dog civilization. Like dogs, isn't it? In bazaar, in aerodrome platform, in any place, in a club, in that what you say? Everywhere. 
free sex like dogs you understand so sameless life is animal life no human life at all so nasty isn't it that you are human being the purpose of your life is to have parmartha is above this four na huh? ab borgo is says three principles uh, four principles get what he said religion economic development sense gratification then fourth one is liberation you understand fourth one is liberation the above these three four is fifth one that is parmartha that is paramartha you understand fifth one panchum purushartha you understand these are three principles then fourth principle is liberation and fifth principle is paramartha krishna bhakti you understand pure devotion through which krishna can be obtained and can hug krishna that's paramartha you understand that is the purpose of a human life that is the purpose of a human life hmm? if someone by getting human life want make a part to fulfill the purpose of human life that is to get paramartha then he is not a human being he is an animal isn't it he is no better than a, an animal isn't it the animals are engaged in three principles hmm engaged in four things that means ahar nidra bhay maithun isn't it eating sleeping depending mating <coughs> and if the human being is engaged in these four things eating sleeping depending mating then ha is an animal how can he be said as a human being he is not categorized as human being he is two like the animal you understand two like the animal hmm? the animals have four legs or something like that they have horns they have tails but this two like the animal has no horn no tail puchho bhi shaano hi no you understand such animal like dogs you understand shamelessly they will be engaged in sexual activity publicly is like dogs the animals then he is no better than an animal so my guru mara says the dog civilization is not god civilization is for god civilization we have this banna sam dharma you understand this varnasram dharma strictly followed so be strictly followed mm-hmm. under the guidance of a bona fide guru mm-hmm. when there is one is under the grip of gunas satva raja tama kadichan so in some individual one guna predominates the satva guna predominates is natural brahman the raja guna predominates is natural khatriya the tama guna predominates is natural shudra there is a mixture of raja and tama in natural vaishya then sand that will be natural activity the gita shrimad bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam say that whatever your natural profession activity you should do you you you, you must do because 
this material nature will force you to do it prakruti kriyamanani then stand bhagavad gita says prakruti kriyamanani the prakruti material nature will act because you are under our grip isn't it so advice is this instruction is this that you offer the fruit of that activity to krishna lord hari sansidhir hari toshanam you understand that is real ashram dharma this real ashram dharma hmm. if that will not be done if someone will enjoy his the result of his own activity never up heart to krishna ha huh? then the principle of this ashram dharma is not followed this daiva varna ashram dharma the two types asur varna ashram dharma daiva varna ashram dharma if the result of the activities will be up heart to lord hari or krishna then it is daiva You understand? I was. If the person himself enjoys it, then it is asur varna sam, demoniac. Then that is going on. You understand? That is going on. In this society, varna sam dharma must be there. Varna sam dharma must be there. But in this college, you know, there is asur varna sam dharma. No one does. Nobody is. It affirms the result of his activity to Krishna or Hari himself. Thinks himself as in joy. He himself in joy. So assured, is disturbed. So our aim is to establish Vibhavana Samdharma. You understand? This is Vedic, this Vedic culture, Vedic civilization. This is the aim. This is aim. Hmm. So it is being taught here in Sri Madhav Gita and Sri Madhav Bhagavat. It's being taught here. And gurus came, Vaishnavas, sadhus, Mahatmas. They all come here. They teach it. And those who are leaders of the society, those who are ruling. administrators rulers this is their duty this is their duty they should enforce this daiva varna ashram dharma that is dharma sansthapana artha dharma bhami you see and this has been introduced by krishna chatru banya maya srushtam krishna said that thing in shrimad bhagavad gita Is, I have introduced this Vannasam system. You understand? It's not that any person or human being has introduced. No, it's introduced by Krishna. It's Vedic principle, Vedic way. So civilization based on these, the Vannasam dharma is Vedic civilization. is a god civilization culture civilization iran civilization we can say like that but if it doesn't base on it then it is animal civilization dog civilization you understand and that dog civilization is going on. so this uh, restriction is here so it is said it even in human life while observing the principles of varna and ashram brahmana khetriya vaishya sudra brahmacharya grahastho ban prastha and sunyas one must ultimately accept sunyas the noun order for only by the noun order can one be situated in brahma shukho transcendental bliss you understand So four ashramas are there. First one is Brahmacharya ashram. Second one is 
ग्रस्ताश्रम देन थर्ड वन इज बान प्रस्थाश्रम लिविंग होम लिविंग फैमिली बान प्रस्थाश्रम फोर्थ वन इज सन्यास आश्रम देन स्टैन एंड दैट इज वेरी प्रिंस होम एंड इट इज टेड हियर अल्टीमेटली वन मस्ट आक्से सन्यास the renounced order for only by the renounced order can one be situated in brahma sukha transcendental bliss because this is basic principle in the beginning beginning life is brahmachari life one should be one should stay in guru guru guru's ashram and will train there hmm how to control his mind and senses how to observe strict celibacy brahmacharya and do vedic study you understand yes sir do you receive this knowledge vedic knowledge tattva gyan do you understand from guru he will be completely trained you understand then by the permission of guru he will become grosta guru notices observes that mr peter cannot be sanyas he cannot directly accept sanyas he must be grosta you understand so guru gives permission all i you become now grosta marry accept a wife become grosta but there is strict prohibition only the grosta can associate with women this concession for grosta the sexual enjoy sexual activity in other ashramas brahmacharya ashram man prastha ashram sanyasam no women association strictly prohibited do you understand strictly prohibited you see that is stated here hmm hmm therefore uh this that the sanyasis and brahmacharis keep strictly aloof from the associated women so that there will be no chance falling down again as victims of lust desires do you understand hmm strict prohibition ब्रह्मचारी बांधस्थ्य सन्यासी नो एसोसिएशन विथ वुमेन वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट इवन इट इज सेड दे नेवर टॉक टू ए वुमेन दे नेवर सी द फॉर्म ऑफ ए वुमेन इट इज स्टेटेड सो स्ट्रिक्ट सो स्ट्रिक्ट स्ट्रिक्ट ब्रह्मचारी सन्यासी they should not see a woman even the form of a woman should not talk with a woman what to speak of the association do you understand so strict regulation is there hmm hmm but stated here in 11th canto hmm स्त्रीण निरीक्षण स्पर्श संलापेक्षोनाधिक प्राणीनो मिथुनी भूता न ग्रोस्तो अग्रोस्तजेत इलेवंथ कैंटो श्रीमद्भागव कृष्ण श्रेष्ठ उद्धव जैंडस्टैंड स्त्रीण निरीक्षण स्पर्श संलापेक्षोनाधिक प्राणीनो मिथुनी भूता न ग्रोस्त अग्रोस्तजेत फर्स्ट आई स्पीक इन ओरिया then english here it says krishna says to uddhava accept grahastha that means for brahmachari ban prastha sanyasis it is said they want look at a woman they want touch a woman they should not talk with a woman they should not joke with a woman Uh, even they should not look at the other animals those are engaged in sexual intercourse say 
The dogs are engaged in street. If you go to street, you will find so dogs are engaged. The Brahmachari, Bhanprasthi, Sanyasi, even should not look at this. So strict. Only a grossa can do it. So strict. Do you understand? Still, there is regulation for grossa, what I said. If Guru say, no, all right, you have married now, accepted wife, but you cannot do sexual enjoyment, sexual activity. Keep absorb celibacy now for five years. Then ask Guru, shall we procreate? Prajani, if Guru say yes, now you can. Then you are allowed. For the procreation, both husband and wife you will fix up one day, proper period, when you will both unite for once a month for procreation. Then stopped, no. This is uh, under permission of Guru. This regulation is there. This is for human society. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, ultimately one should accept sannyas, you see. Mm, it is stated. Because this is also, first one should become brahmachari, then grastha, then he should leave home, become vanprastha, then ultimately sannyas. Ah. Only by the denounced order can one be situated in Brahma Sukha, transcendental bliss. In Brahma Sukha, one is no longer attracted by lusty desires. Indeed, when one is no longer disturbed, especially by lusty desires, for sexual indulgence, he is fit to be a sannyasi. Otherwise, he is not fit. You understand? Yes, this most important thing. Hmm. Here Prabhupada Maharaj says, if one accepts sannyasa at an immature stage, there is every possibility of his being attracted by women and lusty desire and thus again becoming a so-called grohastha or a victim of women. Such a person is sameless, he is called bantasi or one who hates that which has already vomited. Certainly it is a very condemned life, you see. So strict regulation is there. One should not take sannyas in an immature stage. Most important, one must mature. It's completely free from sex desires. You understand? Completely free. At any circumstances, he should not be attracted towards a woman. You understand? No lusty desire should crop up in him. Then he is fit to be sannyas. He may have led sannyas, otherwise, no. Mm. Guru Maharaj, our Guru Maharaj has given this instruction in our Krishna conscious movement, advised, therefore, that the sannyasis, brahmacharis, keep strictly aloof from the association of women, so that there will be no chance of their falling down again as victims of lusty desires. You understand? So, clear instruction is there. And don't become a bhantasi. When once, when you accept sannyas, then strictly follow the sannyas regulations. No association with men, no talking, no joking, no association, very strictly. Mm, be completely free from such desire. <laughs> Develop. Mm. Ah, this. Uh, oh, that such desire, how one will be elevated to this Brahma Bhuta platform, 
where you can enjoy Brahma Shukha. Do you understand? It is stated the Vairagi. Vairagi or Krutta Nam Sankirtan. You see? Will do always Nam Sankirtan, thereby get prem. At every moment, not hmm, wasting one moment even. Every moment constantly engaged in loving service of the Lord under the strict guidance of the bona fide spiritual master. Do you understand? And we should not, whatever I tell you, we should not associate with the woman, talk with the woman, touch with the, touch, touch a woman. Do you understand? Not joke with the woman. We should not look at the other animals, those are engaged in sexual intercourse. No. Strict prohib- prohibition. Otherwise you will fall down. The sannyas will become bantasi. It is vomiting stuff. A shameless person, it says, indeed a very shameless person, leading a very shameless life, very contempt life. It's better to die than to become bantasi. Do you understand? It's better to die. Where is he, that the body? <laughs> he was asking that yesterday. If Bhagavan would have died, then this, it would have been very fortunate for him. Good fortune. It is said, it is better to die than become Bantas. Isn't it? But he didn't die. <laughs> it is so condemned life, a sumless life. It says clearly. It's a very good lesson. He left. Didn't he listen to this? Bhagavatam. Isn't it? What he says? <laughs> it's better to die than become Bantasi. So condemned life, so sinless life. Why are you living? I live. Living such a condemned life, sinless life? Huh? You see, the sameless person, you say, is indeed a sameless person. Narada Muni says, my Guru Maharaj says, suddenly leads a condemned life. He has licked his vomited stuff. You see, it's a good thing. It's better to die. Isn't it? You see, such strict regulation. Yeah. So one should not become Vantasi. If someone has already taken sannyas, then your only aim and duvar should be how to get this Brahma Shukha. This Brahma Shukha. And he said, Brahma Shukha. He situated in Brahma Shukha, turns around, please. For only by the renounced order can one be situated in Brahma Shukha, turns into bliss. Yeah. If not that, why shall one take sannyas? Why shall one take sannyas? No need. No need. Do you understand? And in our this uh, Vedic culture, Vedic civilization, the Banasam system, dharma, ashram dharma, one should take, he said, one must ultimately accept sannyas, renounced order. One must accept. First Brahmachari, then Grahastha, then Mantra, then sannyas. You must. Otherwise, how can you have the Brahma Shuka? Unless you are completely free from this three principles that is said, religion, economic development, sense gratification. 
one who accepts the sannyas order, gives up the three principles of material activities in which and indulges in field of household life, namely religion, economic development, and sense gratification. Must be free. This is our Vedic system. This is our Asam Dharma. One soon, one sooner say no, not necessary. I won't accept sannyas. Then you will lead animal life. Then you will lead animal life, not human life. It's not human civilization. Not Vedic civilization is dog civilization, animal civilization. So this is really needed. Really needed. So an intelligent man or learned person, conscientious person, should think of very deeply about this mm. and should prepare himself for this fourth ashram. Yes? Maharaj Prabhupada Maharaj, he gave many of his young disciples uh, sannyas at an early age and most of them fell down in, in the time to, time to come and many people say that Prabhupada sacrificed his young sannyas. What do you think about that? Uh -huh. Many uh, devotees say he sacrificed them. He, in other words, he, they say he, he knew they wouldn't last but in the, for the sake of preaching he made them sannyas. Yes, Prabhupada Maharaj offered sannyas to young brahmacharis, persons, for preaching. Because the society became very large, worldwide. So managers are required. Otherwise, how the society will be managed? You understand? Those who are little developed, little in spiritual path, progressed, he ordered them sannyas in order to manage the society. They will control and others will obey them. Because the sannyasi, Highest ashram is uh, to be respected by one and all. Why Sriman Mahaprabhu took up sannyas? We were discussing that day. Do you understand? Because in the society, the general etiquette is there. Oh, respect sannyasi because he is sannyasi. Highest order. Fourth order. So Brahmacharis, Gurastas, Bandras, they all respect. So he becomes Guru. But he should actually be a sannyas. Actually be Guru. Not by name only. Otherwise, wow, how can he get respect? Only by putting on a garb. You understand? So when Prabhupada Maharaj gave such thing, they should think of, we are actually not qualified persons. But my Guru Maharaj is so kind, so merciful, give me such a big responsibility. So I should qualify myself to shoulder this heavy responsibility. I should be real, actual sannyasi, actual Guru. Otherwise, by name, I should not be a hypocrite. They should have thought of like that. So, they didn't do it. Thereby, Prabhupada Maharaj gave a chance to them. He gave a chance, an opportunity to them to qualify themselves. Because they don't, they didn't. Well, what will happen? They were given sannyas in an immature stage, at the stage, immature. They are not mature. They understand? But they should qualify themselves. 
They understand, they should qualify themselves. And they should have followed this uh, sannyas principles very straightly in their life. What is stated in Shastra, what the sadhus, Nārda Muni, like Nārda Muni, have stated, but they violated such things. Then they fell, they become bantas, condemned, shameless person. Let it condemn life. Do you understand? Yeah. Guru gave you opportunity, but you cannot have that opportunity, cannot get that opportunity, cannot enjoy that opportunity, because you cannot qualify yourself. So, You are such a condemned person. Man, guru had high hope for you. But what you did? You should think of what I did. Thereby, you committed a great offense at the lotus feet of your guru. Do you understand? Definitely. Such a great offender, isn't it? Because you have disobeyed your Guru. What did Guru says here in this one part? Huh? You disobeyed. So you are a great offender. You committed Nama Parā. So you fell down. You understand? Yes, any question? Another thing is that you mentioned in your lecture that we have to act according to Vāna ah. and before you said that in this age everybody is Sudra. Yeah. So how can we act according to, to God when they are, everybody is Sudra? When they become this culture, that this uh, sanskar, purificatory ceremony, uh, under Pancharatrika Vidhi, they will become Brahmana. That we discussed the other day. Only Pancharatrika Vidhi is there in Kali Juga, no Vaidika Vidhi. You understand, in Vaidika Vidhi, no Sudra, no woman should have this. So when all are Sudras in Kali Juga, so Vaidika Vidhi is not in current, is not, cannot be mm, followed. Only Pancharatrika Vidhi. So in Pancharatrika Vidhi, we do the Sanskar Kriya, Prefectory ceremony. So Sudra becomes Brahman. You understand? Yes. But then, where are the Chatras and the Vaishyas? Mm. There's only Brahmanas in the society, or, or those who are the Sudras. Yes, they need Brahmana is the head. Khetriya is the arm. Sudra is the belly. I'm say, Vaishya is the belly. Sudra is the leg. So, in a complete body, full body, these four parts should be there. Do you understand? The society is like a body, social structure. So in Kali Yuga, in this social structure, there is only legs and belly, no arm and no head. So my Guru Maharaj says, we are now giving training. How can one become Brahmana? Do you understand? Head is the most vital part of the body. If there will no head, then what is the value of this body? This intelligent class, Brahman class is intelligent class. Do you understand? So Khetriyas are like arms, protect. They will protect ruling class. Do you understand? They are ruling class. Hmm. So, if there will be Brahmanas, so automatically, Ah, in whom Khetriyas, you see, there will be Khetriyas. In whom Rajguna is predominating, they are natural Khetriyas. Do you understand? So, when we are giving training as Brahmanas, then Guru can see that in him passion is predominating, so he will become a 
kshatriya he will become a kshatriya so he will be engaged in that sort of activity everything is here hmm you understand and another point is that when someone will develop pure krishna consciousness fully complete krishna consciousness and uh, become a pure devotee he is in sub sattva is above gunas you understand is above sattva raja and tama three gunas is in pure sattva sub sattva pure devotee pure vaishnav and he can act what is whatever what is needed at the present moment he can act like a kshatriya he can act like a vaishya act like a sudh act like a brahma that a vaishnav can do you understand but he is not really a kshatriya or vaishya brahmana or a, a sudra or kshatriya like that as for example parshuram really a brahman but he acted like a kshatriya because that was needed so a vaishnava can do that a vaishnava can do that then stand a vaishnava can do that if it is needed hmm if it is needed he can act like a kshatriya those who are in the society kshatriyas that means some rajguna is there kshatriya mentality is there then stand hmm they can act like that if needed if needed is most important is this krishna consciousness hmm this krishna consciousness is most important thing you understand so we are ah uh, teaching when we are teaching and introducing it in this condition the society where there are conditioned souls so we are trying to establish varnashram dharma daiva varnashram dharma you understand daiva varnashram dharma as i tell you that all should do their natural profession activity in krishna consciousness they should offer the result of their activity to krishna that's the gona this is gona bhakti is known as gona bhakti is a low type of bhakti then from gona one can be elevated to mukhya higher type of bhakti this is first thing preliminary stage purnashram dharma is gona bhakti but how do you understand this is for conditional souls this is for conditional souls then stand and we are trying to establish this thing and one who is a ruler and it is his duty that he should establish this thing this banasan uh, dharma so all will be engaged so there will be no unemployment why there is unemployment because this banasan dharma is not established all are sudras chakir do chakir do give us employment give us employment because all are sudras nobody is prepared to do the activity of a brahman or a kshatriya some few are vaisyas even they are also not prepared to be become vaisyas chakir do chakir do give us employment give us employment all you understand so many highly educated persons are unemployed why because they are also dras if this one nasam dharma will be established then there will be no question of unemployment so those who are administrating and ruling the rulers they should see it so this teaching is there you understand Hari Bala. Hari Bala.
हरे 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 प्रोडक्ट दिस सोसाइटी डॉक्ट सोसाइटी टुडे आई स्पुट मोस्टली इन इंग्लिश Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>